Hi guys, Kim here, design team member with Swirly Deuce Kit Club. I'm bringing to you today a video reveal of our January Kit Vineyard. It's filled with lots of Prima and some seven dots, so sit back, grab your cup of coffee, and enjoy the video as I go through all the kits and the add-ons. First, we've got some Prima wood embellishments from Royal Menagerie. There's 24 pieces in here. Um, you've got a bicycle, a scroll, a love, a teapot, be happy, and some flowers. Now you get the entire pack in your kit. Next up, we've got the Royal Menagerie chipboard and more pieces, the ephemera. There's 40 pieces in here. You've got some sequins, you get a couple little metal pieces, and you get a whole bunch of chipboard pieces. And again, you get the full pack in this kit. Uh, the back will show you all the little pieces that you get. These are good to stick into your floral cust clusters and things like that. And this is again from the Royal Menagerie line from Prima. Next up, we've got a piece of yarn. It's like a pinky lavender kind of color. Matches perfectly with the papers in this kit. You get a yard of that. Next, we've got some bling or some pearls. Who doesn't love their pearls? Um, these are by Darice and they're baby blue and you get 58 pieces in here, several different sizes. We've got some chipboard by Dusty Attic. This is called their Flourish Number no. 8. Kind of reminds me of like some seashells at the top, but you get four pieces in the package here. Coordinates really pretty. We've got some Prima flowers, the Royal Menagerie flowers. These are pink. These are the Royal Menagerie Helena. And there's also some leaves in here and some berries. So a nice variety of flowers in the pack. Plus, we got some more flowers uh, from Petaloo, the Botanica collection, and these are the calla lilies and berries. These are more like picks. You can cut these apart, the ones with the little berries on them, and stick them in here and there. And they're like a deep purple color. There's some really pretty colors in this kit. Next, you get some journaling cards. Uh, there are the, I would say the three and a half by five, and you get the full set. They're double-sided, so one side may have a design on it, but the other side is a solid color that coordinates. Now let's get to the meat of it, the paper. We've got two lines here that coordinate well. The first one is the Royal Menagerie by Prima. Our first sheet is Bicycle Built for Two, and it's all full of the pinks and browns and blues, and it's double-sided and the purples. Next up, we've got Royal Menagerie Saltwater. Now this one's got some greens in it, um, and you'll see where those chipboards kind of match it really well. Again, double-sided. Next up, we've got Queen for the Day. Who doesn't love that name? We've got like some water rings on here and some more prints, just really pretty purples and pinks on both sides. Next up, we've got Flutterby. That's the back side. The front side's got some butterflies down the side and up at the top. Little bits and pieces of newsprint in here and some text. Just like a really pretty distressed in the back side. Next is Fly Free. We've got some yellows in this sheet along with some more browns to go with those pinks. A little less of the blue teal color, but still gorgeous. Now, our seven dots paper. The first sheet, this is from the Thoughts Keeper line. I love Seven Dots paper. Our first sheet is number one, and it's a softer shade of that pink, and the other side, surprise, gives you some browns with some leaves on it and some text. And then we've got Thought Keeper number three, which is the greens and blues and teals that really coordinate well with the Royal Menagerie. And on the other side, it's almost like a orangey craft color. And our last sheet is number five from Thoughts Keeper, and it's a greenish with some text on there. And the back side is that brown with some floral print on the back. These are just really pretty papers. And you've also got a specialty sheet in there of some vellum newsprint by American Crafts. Actually, they call it Dictionary on Vellum. So it's a dictionary print on vellum. 
really pretty to cut up and to distress, give it like the burnt edges or something like that in your kit. So now these are all the papers and embellishments that are in the main kit. Um, lots of stuff to work with in the main kit and don't forget if you get the pattern paper add-on you get all of these papers you get another set of all of these beautiful papers in the pattern paper add-on so let's move on to our cardstock now if you get our cardstock add-on you get six different colors and you get two sheets of each so our first sheet is uh, mint julep this is my colors cardstock by my mind's eye and this is all textured it's got a really nice texture to it and a nice weight our next sheet is called lovable it's that pinky coralish kind of color and again this is textured cardstock as well our next sheet is called grasshopper and it is uh a nice light shade of like a grass green um, really pretty next up we have coral rose and it's just uh this one's got a little more pink in it and a little less coral than the other sheet and then we've got this really deep pretty purple and it's called Concord Jam and that's exactly what it reminds me of like grape jelly uh, really pretty purple and our last sheet is called Aqua Tint. It's a light tealy bluish kind of color. And again, all these papers are textured. They're a nice heavy weight. So you can use these to back your layouts and they'll hold up those layouts that have all your mixed media on it. Next up, we have our embellishment kit. And there is lots in this embellishment kit. We've got some really pretty pearl uh, lace ribbon here. You've got a yard of that. You can cut this up and stick it in here and there. I love to hoard that. Next up, we've got some metal trinkets by Prima. There's five pieces in here. Um, they've got that patina kind of color to them. And there's some little pearls on here. These are really fun to use. Next up, we've got some butterflies. You know swirly doos and our butterflies. These are from the Garden Fable line. Uh, they're called Native. And you've got six butterflies in here. And now we've got some more pearls. We've got lots of pearls in this kit. We've got two sets by Doris, two different colors. The first one is uh, black. And again, there's 58 pieces in here. There's a couple of different sizes. Then the next set is lavender. Um, and again, it's the exact same, 58 pieces. And we've got some chipboard. We've got lots of chipboard too. We've got some leafy vines by Creative Embellishments. And you've got two pieces in this pack. So this will go a long way because this is a nice size piece. You can cut it up and stick it in here and there. And we've got a leafy circle chipboard by Creative Embellishments as well. Uh, this is really good as a photo frame. So now in your tissue paper wrap, you've got this metal garden gate. It comes in three pieces. It's hooked together and uh, it's hinged, but you can always take some wire cutters and unhinge those, or you can hinge them together, make yourself an off the page project or something like that, but it's really good on a layout. And then we've got a full pack of the Sandra Everson's resins. These are called, uh, which ones are these? Doesn't say, but you've got two, four, six, eight, nine pieces in this kit and you get the entire package of these. And I love these resins. They take ink and paint so well. Next up, we have our flower add-on. What girl doesn't love her flowers? We're gonna start with some Royal Menagerie flowers. These are called Mary. And there's six pieces in here and it kind of encompasses all the colors that are in your Royal Menagerie paper. And we've got some little smaller Royal Menagerie flowers. These are called Caroline. They're like little small roses. I like to stick these in places. Now we've got some Petaloo from the Botanica Collection. Um, these are the vintage velvet dogwood and they're in this deep bluish teal color. I love these and you've got 24 pieces in this pack so these should go a long way. 
then you've got some bigger Botanica collection vintage velvet peonies and you've got four in here plus some leaves so we've got a nice selection of flowers in your flower add-on next up we've got our project kit and boy do we have some new stuff in this project kit can't wait for you to see this we're gonna start off we've got some really pretty lace in here some nice sheer white lace love this stuff and next up we've got some more gems these are by Dari self stick gems there's 130 pieces in there and they're just called crystal so there's some crystal gems and you get two sheets in here lots of pieces and then more flowers we've got some royal menagerie flowers these are Elizabeth and you get six pieces in here and these are more of the pinks and corals uh, you've also got a frame a vintage frame by dusty attic now the fun stuff we've got this new Tim Holtz distress distress paper mosaic kit and I'm gonna open that up for you what it includes is three containers one is a mosaic grout that you put down first and then you put your paper down and then it's got the mosaic glue that you put down that you use to hold your paper down and then the mosaic glaze to go over your paper to give it that shiny look so we're doing these these mosaic canvases this is going to be a lot of fun um, I can't wait to start using this and next we've got this really big canvas um, it's not huge but it's super thick it's by Darius I love this canvas it's got to be a good two inches thick and um, nice weight so it'll hold up to hold the mediums it'll hold this grout not that this grout is really heavy or anything but you can layer on some stuff onto this canvas so I'm excited to work with this project love new stuff and love trying out new stuff can't wait for you to see what the design team does with it next we've got our mediums kit and more new stuff in our mediums kit um, first off I'm gonna start with we get a stencil we get one of the prima doily stencils I believe this is one of their newer doily stencils it's gotta be because I don't have it um, and it's really nice you can use the whole thing or pieces of it next we've got some art anthology velvet dimensional paint in tuxedo and the dimensional paint has a little bit of shine to it but it's nice and smooth the sorbet's got like a little more sheen to it I believe um, but this is a nice and smooth with a little shine next up we've got some mica powder in purple and of course this matches perfectly with the Royal Menagerie papers you can make your mist do your backgrounds with it and my favorite in the kit is the new Tim Holtz splatter brush you know how we're all trying to get those perfect splatters on our pages but we've got the new Tim Holtz brush and it's made of like a hard plastic so you can just go ahead and tap that on your fingers once you get your liquid on there and get some good splatters on your pages so now last up we have our fairly new die uh, add-on and we've got a die from Cherry Lynn this is the CN double edge border so we've got a border die here it's really pretty it's got some hearts on it it kind of looks like lace once you cut it out uh, really delicate and intricate double-sided thing and um, cuts out really nice and it's one of those thin dies too it's one of the wafer thin dies so you know you're gonna need your adapter when you use it in your machine uh, it's a good size too we measured out it's one by eight so it's one inch wide and it's eight inches long so now you have our main kit and all our add-ons for the January vineyard swirly dues kit our kids tend to sell out fast so stop by on reveal day and check out our kits or make sure you never miss another kit by subscribing go to our website www.swirlydues.com click join our club Mention my name, Kim, and you'll get 10% off your first kit and a coupon for 30% off of an entire purchase in our store. So, once again, thanks for stopping by. Bye.